Hello, dear friends. It's May 9th, which means that we're in the middle of a week of affirming life. It began with Sanctity of Life Sunday on May 6th. Uh, and uh, tomorrow, Thursday, Ascension Day, many of us will be marching for life. In fact, I'm in the car. I'm not driving, I assure you. But our bags are packed and we're ready to go. And my wife and I will be driving to Ottawa, which is about a five-hour drive. Uh, this evening, we'll be taking part in an Anglicans for Life Canada rally, uh, which, among other things, will be featuring the Reverend Rick Berg, who is uh, an Anic priest from Victoria, uh, who is an expert on life issues and will be the speaker this evening and also the preacher at the service, the ecumenical service of St. Peter and St. Paul uh, on Thursday morning before the march. Uh, and so we're really grateful for that. Um, please pray for Rick and for all our activities around March for Life across the country. Um, well, there are a number of things that I'd like to encourage you to pray about. Uh, first of all, please pray, continue to pray for Bishop Trevor. Uh, we received word that, in fact, uh, the uh, chemo and surgery which he had does not appear to have had its desired effect. And so uh, there is some uh, further tests to be done, and then there is the distinct possibility of major surgery for Bishop Trevor. And so please pray for him and for healing and for doctors and nurses as they care for him. Uh, also, I, I, uh, something quite different, but I'd like to invite you to pray for St. Thomas's uh, Church in, Scot in Edinburgh, Scotland. Uh, this Sunday, May 13th, they have a very important vote. Their rector is the Reverend Dave McCarthy. And maybe some of you would remember in January of 2017, he did a posting for GAFCON. But uh, they have been caught as of June 8th, 2017. Uh, uh, um, they... they the marriage canon was changed, uh, and so they have this decision to make. Uh, and so we're praying for Reverend Dave McCarthy and his family and the people of St. Thomas's. Uh, another quite different thing, uh, I just wanted you to know that Scott Hunt, our uh, a man who's responsible for our communications and posts these for me every week, um, he and Rochelle Lyons are getting married on Saturday, May 19 at St. George's Burlington. It's a very exciting thing for us all. Uh, and uh, so pray for Scott and Rochelle. Uh, but also I wanted you to know that after May 16th, there will not be postings until GAFCON in the middle of June. Uh, and there will be three during that period of time. And then the summer, there will not be postings as well. Well, dear friends, uh, as we, as my wife and I begin a tour, which is Ottawa and then Montreal, uh, we'll be at St. Uh, Timothy's in the afternoon of Sunday and in the morning, Emmaus. And then, uh, Lord willing, we'll be driving back and get back to Milton Sunday night. Uh, God bless you uh, and thank you for that we can stand together in prayer. Uh, this is, uh, you know, we're not only about protecting life, but we actually are wanting people to come to know Jesus. Je John 14, 6 says, Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. John 14, 6. People need Jesus and to know Jesus, who is the way, the truth, and the life, and they're made for relationship. So, dear friends, we're not just protecting life, we're promoting life in Jesus. So search the scriptures daily and every opportunity, open your mouth and speak to people about Jesus. God bless.